Hi ladies, today I'm going to be working on more mixed media and if you remember on my last video I I did these mixed media journaling cards and what I did was I have so much to share with you today um I didn't add the word you see here I added words to them and I really love the way they came out when I added the words to them and um, I'm not going to show you all of them but I really 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 love the way they came out so um, today I'm going to make more in I've already started on them I've already done them because um, I had I went out of town last week and I didn't have anything to do so I just took a lot of my things with me and these are a different size so as you can see I did, did the same basic um, method where I um, first I jelly plated them and then I added different textures music sheets I used um, these are um, jelly prints I used other mixed media and um, I put the um, heart shapes the heart that I cut them out of um, book pages and then I just went over with the charcoal uh, here <clears throat> I made a cross with a heart in the middle love the way that turned out so I love the way they came out so what I want to do to these is I have some words also these words I got um, from Heidi Swap she has these um, stencils I cut them because first they were eight and a half by eleven and I say they were too big so I cut them down so they could be more easy to handle and I used the um, modeling paste. I didn't buy her modeling paste, but I had my own modeling paste. So with the stencils, I just used um, modeling paste to make these different words on some mixed media paper that I made. And you can see them. Hope, faith, joy, and dream. And this is another one that says blessing. Look how cute. So, um, like I said, the, this is modeling paste. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the word and add it somewhere on the, the cards. It's going to come out really cute. You know, anywhere, you feel free to just put them on the card. love how they came out okay so basically that's 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 it okay so these are the cards came out super nice and also I'm going to show you what else I did with her with her um the stencils remember these are the stencils by Heidi swap and all I did was use modeling paste but this time I used um, the dilution spray and this is what I came up with you know the dilution I took the dilution with the stencil laid the stencil on this was already um, paper mixed media paper it was like my drop sheet so what I did I just put Heidi um, stencil over it and I came up with all this yumminess so what I would do I will I could also just take my scissor take my scissors and just cut out a word just cut out a word right make sure I'm doing this right just cut out a word this word says treasure and just now this is the positive right of the stencil and these two are the negatives never 
never waste ink never waste especially dilution never waste it these this is the negative this is the negative it always use the negatives as well as the positives so this word you take it and you just place it on your journaling card look how cute that is okay so all the words that I have here cut them out and I will put them on these journaling cards okay now one more thing I want to show you before I get into the process is um, I don't know whether a lot of you are members of junk journey junkies um, a lot of them been talking about this um, this is um, barbecue is they call this is a, a vegetable steamer where you can go to Walmart and you can purchase this vegetable steamer and um, you can use it to um, spray I use my again I use my um, my di dilution Listen, time I get ready to do my video the garbage man come so I just excuse the noise <laughs> I use my um, ink spray. I put put it over just a plain white sheet of paper, and this is what you get: positive dots. Yummy. And all all I did was put the plain white paper like that. Then I placed this over it, sprayed my inks spray my inks never never waste ink and I took an extra paper and put it on top and rubbed it rubbed it and I got my negative space look how cute and yummy the negative space is like I said ladies never waste ink now this is so like I said they say it's sold in in Walmart for like four or five I don't know how much it's sold but I got mine in the thrift store and it was 89 cents. When I saw it, I said immediately I jumped on it. And it's almost like cast iron. It's not like the aluminum one I think you get at um, Walmart. But this is a very nice one. I got some really nice finds when I went to my um, thrift store. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to work on library pockets. And I'm going to do the library pockets the same way. I did the journaling cards now here I have a few already and I've already started what I did I took some whitewash I whitewashed them first with just watered down gesso and then I took a dry brush and I just dry brush them so they could have some texture or have some background so I'm going to show you the technique and basically I'm going to do the same technique that I did with the the journaling cards with these journaling cards it's the same technique so all I have is my three acrylic paints got my library cards here and I need a dry brush got my dry brush okay so I'm going to show you the technique 